After the recent retreat of the Russian military in the Kyrgyzstan region, the armed forces of Ukraine continue occupying new settlements and secure their positions along the western bank of the Dnieper River and near the city of the Kyrgyzstan. Top Ukrainian military commanders and foreign journalists came to the city in order to cover the situation inside the city. The media continues to ignore the Ukrainian Nazism and atrocities against the civilians. They are glorifying Ukrainian servicemen and activists who hunt for the alleged Russian collaborators in the recently taken settlements, and as a result, innocent civilians are tortured without any trial. Busy fighting the civilians, the Ukrainian military reportedly attempted new offensive operations in the region, which, however, were not aimed at any military gains but were yet another media campaign. On November 11th, a Ukrainian sabotage group reportedly attempted to carry out a landing operation near the village of Pakrovka, located on the Kimburn Split. As a result of the failed operation, the Ukrainian grouping of the 73rd Gromosk Center of Special Operations was destroyed. Four Ukrainian small vessels and about 20 servicemen were reportedly destroyed. The reports of the military operations on the spit are yet to be officially confirmed. The spit is located in front of the Ukrainian port of Okhachov and remains under Russian control. It is very thin and neither of the warring sides can deploy heavy military equipment in the area. So far, the Russian and Ukrainian militaries are strengthening their military positions on the banks of the Dnieper River and continue heavy artillery duels. In the Uglodar region, Russian forces managed to take control of the city of Pavlovka, located on the southern outskirts of the city and, as a result, cut off the road located in the area. Ukrainian units launched counterattacks near Pavlovka and Nykolska in an attempt to stop the advancing Russian units. So far, all Ukrainian attacks have been repelled. The situation on the Donbass front lines has not changed in recent days. After Russian-led forces took control of the village of Apaitna, they continue the mop-up operation to the west of the settlement. A Russian assault continues in Vidanoye and Pirvamiska in order to continue to surround the Ukrainian grouping in Avdivka. In their turn, Ukrainian forces are heavily shelling the outskirts of Donetsk in an attempt to stop the Russian advance. The Wagner fighters are advancing deep into the city of Bakhmut on the southeastern outskirts. Ukrainian forces are attempting to stop them, equipping additional strong points on the way of the offensive of the Russian forces. To the west of Lyshychansk, Russian-led forces are fighting in Belogorovka. Some of the Ukrainian units reportedly retreated to reserve positions, waiting for help. On the northern front lines of the LPR, the situation remains unchanged. The warring sides launch offensive operations, but neither of them has achieved any success.